Now, the holiday season is almost upon us, and I think that, well, most of our battles will be, you know, trying desperately to answer really awkward questions from our relatives. I think that there is another, probably just as important battle that's going on right now. Gift buying. Now, we at SirHaChinChow.com, we love to help people in need. That's why we thought that if there was one way for us to make your holiday season a little bit merrier, it would be to help you figure out what to buy the people in your life. Now, I'm terrible at buying gifts. That's why I've hijacked this episode of LTA and roped in the entire Search and Chow team, well, those who would talk to me lah, and asked them for their gift ideas. I told them to buy gifts for three kinds of people in their life. The first kind, which is like the people that they don't really know or, you know, let's face it, don't really like. Uh, the second kind, the people that they do like, the people they respect, you know, good people. And finally, for the people that they really like. So welcome to this special episode of LTA where we help you buy presents for that techie guy or girl or person in your life. Roll the intro. So, we're starting off with the first person. Now, you may know him as Alexander Wong because he is Alexander Wong. Everybody welcome Alex, a uh, familiar face on LTA. Uh, so, he is... Well, I think he needs no introduction. So, Alex, how was it coming up with this gift guide? So we're going to do the three category thingy. Yes, Okay, correct. so for the chipscape category, I'm a pretty generous chipscape, by the way. Gen so if, let's say if a budget of 100 ringgit or less, well, one of the things that I will recommend is the basis, base us. I don't know how to call it, base us, travel adapter. So it's basically like those travel adapters that comes with, you know, the UK pin, US pin, uh, whatever pins and all that stuff, right? And it has a USB port and a USB PD port. So that's pretty... Uh, need for frequent travelers. So you, if you forget your travel adapter or your charging adapters, no problem. One unit that solves it all. So this is for like the person that you don't really know and like you know maybe you don't even really like that 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 person lah. But at least you know. Gift, la. Yeah, but at least you know he travels a lot or uh, she travels a lot. Okay, yeah, okay. So that costs about sixty bucks. So it's a travel adapter. That means it's like those things that uh, for universal. Uh, Yes. The, those things with the universal port, lah, the one yeah. that can fit like UK pin, US pin, pin Europe like pin, that, Japan pin, Australia pin, all these weird, weird pins. Okay. Yeah. So it's about 60 bucks. So it's a pretty nice gift. 60 bucks? Yep. I don't know though, but travel adapter, is that something I would like to receive as a present? Hmm. Okay, if let's say you're the type who wants to know what's going on in the house, you could go for the Xiaomi Tafang. It's, it's a CCTV camera uh -huh. which you can control using a smartphone and you can ha get a 360 view. Mm -hmm. You can control that using a smartphone. So that's going Wait. for about 80 bucks. So it can turn? It can turn. So it's not just like a really wide angle lens? La. It's actually like a, it's a wide angle lens, about 120 uh -huh. degrees if not mistaken. Uh -huh. And you can use your smartphone to move it around. So if you have pets at home, this is good to keep an eye out on what's going on at home. So, does, but then, will, will that work with like the English media app? Yeah, it can work. Oh. Yeah, but oh, the difference is that uh, when you select the setup, you must select mainland China. Uh -huh. Because it's not officially available in Malaysia, but the interface is English. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then you, you have one, right? Yeah, you I have, have one. one? Have yeah, one? I have two actually. <laughs> 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 they, they go back to back so that you know you can see the whole house <laughs> at the same time. So what do you use that for? Like, what, what do you use your, your camera for? Do you, do you use it to, like, uh, to make sure that, to, to know when people come into your house? Or do you mm -hmm. use it to monitor the stuff in your house? Uh, mo mostly to monitor stuff in my house. Monitor stuff in your uh, house? Yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah. So how much is that again? It's about 80 ringgit. 80 ringgit. And where, you ca where can you get it? You can get it in Lazada, Shopee. Just search for Tafang, D-A-F-A-N-G. Yeah, mm. so it looks like this, uh, like a short little tower that has a camera in front. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like I like that gift. I like that gift. Yeah. Do you have anything else for the person that you don't really know? Okay, let's say if you're a person who okay, if that person is the one who spends more time on the road, you know, needs to charge your phone very frequently. Uh, another neat gift will be this uh, Zimi. Zimi is like a sub brand under Xiaomi ZMI. ZMI. Okay. So if they have this uh, interesting car phone holder mm -hmm. that has built-in wireless charging, so it supports twenty watts. So that's pretty fast. I know second is the it supports the Mi Nine. And that's going for about 105 ringgit. 20 watt fast charging? Yes, 20 watt fast charging. Wireless fast charging. Oh, it's cheese and that. 
is uh, I think should be cheese, cheese compatible, uh -huh. and also included is actually the the charging hand for the for the cigarette lighter uh, connector, and that is twenty seven watts. What? Yes. <laughs> so that means okay. So you hook it up into your uh, the, the the cigarette lighter hole. Yes. And then it's twenty seven watts from there, and, and it and connects then it to goes the into to the car holder. How does that mount? Is it like suction cup or on the aircon? Uh, you know, second on it's stuck to the aircon vent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty, pretty neat for 105 ringgit. So if you know a friend, 105. Wow. Yeah, I think you get cheaper doing promotions. Okay, yeah. so Alex really likes the people he uh, doesn't really know. <laughs> <laughs> if he's uh, like he said, lah, generous cheapskate. Okay, moving on. So someone, if the bar has been set here, yeah. I would say for the affordable gifts, that's like a, I'll give it a three star, three out of five star gift. Okay. Gift level, not bad. Moving on, you have to up the ante for people that you kind of like, the yep. mid-range sort of category. What do yeah. you have? For the mid-range one, well, there are three things I could recommend. One is the Sandisk uh, Extreme Portable SSD. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like many thousands? Yeah, it used to be like thousands of bucks. So uh -huh. one terabyte used to cost like 1,000 ringgit. Uh -huh. So if I check Lazada recently, right, I uh, noticed that you can get it for 745 ringgit. 745 for one TB SSD. Okay. And that looks pretty rugged as well. But is that, how fast is that? How fast are we talking about? Uh, looking at the spec sheet, it's about 550 megs per second. Which is like SATA speeds. La. Yeah, it's SATA okay. speeds. Yeah. So what's the benefit of this? Well, it's faster than a typical hard drive. Because mm -hmm. normally you get an external hard drive, it's slow. Especially when you copy a lot of files, footages, like these guys over here behind the cameras, <laughs> who deals with a lot of uh, 4K footages. So this is a pretty neat solution. Okay, what, do you know what kind of port it uses? Uh, I can't remember. I think I, I could be wrong. I think it could be USB Type C. Okay. And okay. like the WD version, I think there should be an adapter for you to connect to USB A. So that means if it's durable, then it's like waterproof. It's uh, water resistant. No mistake, it has uh, IP55. So it's more like splash proof. Okay lah. Yeah. I mean, if you see IP55 on your smartphone, you wouldn't like toss that in the water, right? So I yeah. guess it's not that. Uh, I mean, yeah. I think the price is pretty good for the kind of speed. I think if it's below one uh, ringgit per gigabyte, I yeah. think that's the rule. It's like pretty decent. Um, plus, it's like kind of tough. And I think is this is this the one with like the hole, like the ear that yes. you can use, like clip onto your carabiner. Uh, you can hook it. It's actually like a fixed hole at the corner. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so you need something to hook yes. onto it, lah. Yeah, probably okay. you get something from S and Do you, do you have any DIY. like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Or like sometimes people give you with the bottle. You know? Yeah, you can yeah. just snatch it from there. So do you have any like uh, information on like the kind of durability we're looking at? Uh, not too sure. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, but we'll leave links la, to all of the things that uh, we mentioned in the comments below. So do you have any more for us in this category? Okay, I like smart stuff, right? So, uh, That's why he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know me, right? I like smart stuff. Mm -hmm. So one of the items I could recommend is a Xiaomi Mi Robot mm -hmm. vacuum cleaner. Mi Ro uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So among the vacuum cleaners, I think this has the best tech bang for buck because it's pretty smart. It has like a radars and sensors which can, change, can actually map up the room, the floor plan, and it does a good job in cleaning up on a, on a, on a regular basis. Okay. Yeah. So it's a smart, it's, it's, it's like, like a Roomba. Robot, like a Roomba. Okay. But it's much cheaper and I say it's pretty intelligent. And you can control it using your smartphone as well. Alright, so okay, so some context here for those of you if you don't really know Alex, right? So Alex is like the vacuum cleaner connoisseur. I suck. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has he has I think like three different vacuum cleaners, yes. was it? So he has a smart robot vacuum cleaner for upstairs. Yeah. A smart robot vacuum cleaner for downstairs. <laughs> and he has a Dyson V6 yeah. for the stairs. So if you have any questions about like what if or if you want to know like what kind of vacuum cleaner is good lah, okay, I would take Alex's word for it. And of the vacuum cleaners that you tried, you like the Mi Robot vacuum yeah. cleaner most because it's affordable. Yeah, it's it? affordable uh -huh. and it's pretty intelligent. And you know, it's a uh, I would say it's bang for buck lah. Is there any way to like program like a path or or like keep it from like going into certain areas of the house? Uh, I think you can, uh, manually you can do it, but one way you can zone out is that uh, you can actually buy one of those um, like a magnetic tape. Mm -hmm. So it's actually an official accessory which you can actually uh, cut out and then um, draw borders around your floor. So let's say for example you want you don't want a vacuum to enter a specific room, you can just stick that uh, strip of uh, magnetic tape on the on the entrance. Oh, yeah. so it becomes like a like, like a, a virtual wall. Yeah. Okay. Wait. So that means. And it talks. It talks. Yeah. 
But so, so the one I've got is Chinese. So <laughs> so basically, he starts vacuuming. He says, "Oh, I'm going to start vacuuming right now." <laughs> and when it's done, he says, he actually says, "Oh, I'm done vacuuming. Go back to base or some or something like that." But but you have a dog, right? How yes. does he react with the the vacuum cleaner? At first, he's actually very scared. But now he's like, eh, never mind. <laughs> he doesn't mind the vacuum cleaner bumping into him once okay, in a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about like little ledges? Is it like okay to navigate that? Well, if it's quite t- high, I think uh-huh. it's uh, smart enough to detect because it can detect. Okay, th- okay, this is like a ledge, so it won't fall off the staircase. But, uh, but do note that if let's say your small ledges, let's say between your your ki- dry kitchen and wet kitchen, right, is too narrow, it tends to go down. Oh, yeah, so then it will get like, will it get like stuck? Then it will get stuck. <laughs> Sometimes it successfully can get out from the ledge. Okay. Yeah. So I suggest you put a magnetic st- uh, strip. For those kind of situations. All right. Um, yeah. What about like the filters? How often do you need to change something like that? Uh, in normal second, the recommended um, replacement is about once every six months, mm-hmm. but I normally change once a year. Once a year, still yeah. okay, Still okay. You can actually check the levels from the the app. Oh, yeah. I think it will work with like the normal Mija app that we yes. have access to. Yes, correct. Also. Okay, so I like that suggestion a lot. I would give that five stars because I also have been looking for a robot vacuum cleaner. You tried to get one? Yeah, I tried to get one. So <laughs> during the 11-11 sale, I was like, okay, I stayed up until midnight and then I put it in my cart, ready, ready. The moment the price dropped, I, added, I purchased it and then it, the order went through, you know, the order went through yep. and then it was like in my, my orders list already, but then it was stuck at bank processing. So then I was like, What's going on, right? It's considered a successful checkout, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So then it says that it was bank processing. It was like, what What the hell? Because I already like put through my card yep. details already. Like Basically, it should be paid already, but for some reason, it was stuck on bank processing. And then it says that it will sort itself out in a few hours. Or if it doesn't, then we ha- I have the option to click on the pay now button, which it was there, lah, right? But you can't pay now, right? right? There's yeah, no option. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I couldn't, I didn't have the option to, to pay now at that moment. So then, never mind, I waited. Okay, so the next day, then the, the order was still there. It was still stuck on bank processing. Processing. And then the pay now option was there and then I clicked on it and it said that uh, if I clicked on pay now it would cancel my order and then start, uh, a, new start one. a new one that I can pay. It's like are you sure? Then I was like that doesn't sound like I'm yeah. going to get it because uh, on the storefront right the order was no longer there. Yeah, like, no it, was available. Out stock, it was out of stock. But you need to check out so by yeah. right it should secure your stock. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like super frustrated. So I just like okay la, I'll try you know whatever like better than it being stuck in like bank yep. processing hell right. So I click pay now and then after that it still didn't let me. It says that oh your order is still being processed uh, you cannot you cannot pay now. I was like what on earth is this? I stayed up until midnight. I spent <coughs> all that time trying to get that vacuum cleaner to clean my house or uh, to come to my house so that it can clean and then in the end, I felt like all I felt was like quite cheated lah. And then I don't know if you guys have had like the same experience because we went through uh, our Facebook group RKMD, which you should totally join by the way. The link <laughs> will be in the video description. So that group, I noticed like some people also having problems with eleven eleven sales and stuff like that. So do you have any stories from that? You know, maybe you can share yep. with us uh, down below, and hopefully Lazada sees it and you know gets to sort this thing out. Hopefully that sorts out before twelve twelve. Yeah, that's why. Wait, will this video come out before 12 12? We don't know. We don't know, yeah. I think you'll know though if you're watching. <laughs> okay, anyway, do we, moving on, do we have another thing in the mid-range category that you would like to recommend? Okay, let's say if this person is an iPhone user, well, I think if in, he, doesn't, he or she doesn't have an Apple Watch, now is a good time to get an Apple Watch Series 3. Apple Watch? Yeah, you can't deny it. Apple Watch is the most complete Apple Watch. But it only works with an iPhone. Yeah, that's why I say iPhone user. Ugh. Yeah, it's <laughs> so you can pick one right now for eight hundred forty nine ringgit. Eight hundred forty. Okay, that's a really yeah, good that's a very good price. Okay. And and being someone who has used the Apple Watch, right, I have to agree that the Apple Watch is a really good smartwatch. Like I, the reaction that reaction aside, uh, using like I've used like a Galaxy Watch, I've used a whole bunch of other smartwatches, I've used Fitbits, you know, all of them. I don't think none of I don't think any of them can really compare to like the Apple Watch in terms of like a complete smartwatch experience, yeah. you know, with the apps, yep. with the performance, even battery life now is like what one and a half, two days maybe. Yeah. It's it's really good and how well it works with an iPhone. Oh. It's so seamless. Like seriously. You can use it to unlock Ooh. your MacBook. You yeah, know. exactly. Which is something that I've always been envious of. So I guess that's part of like the Apple ecosystem Correct. thing. La. But the drawback for that is that it only works for people with iPhones. And people with iPhones will never shut up about telling you how good their <laughs> iPhone is. So I have to rate that as like not that good. La. Uh, what? At least like four okay, stars? 
that's that's not that good in uh, in Apple uh, iPhone land, right? <laughs> but yeah, okay, it's a really great smartwatch. Agreed. Yep. Uh, if you want to get that for someone who has an iPhone, I think they would really love it. Uh, maybe the only other thing that they would love more is like AirPods. I don't yep. know. Um, but uh, to brush. Mm. That's okay. why I don't recommend that. <laughs> Yeah, but we know like probably someone here is basic enough to recommend that lah, okay? Mm. Anyway, okay, uh, Apple Watch, not bad, agreed. Is there any more in this category? Right, well, I think you already make it clear that I love anything that sucks, right? <laughs> so, the ultimate gift I would recommend would be the Dyson V11, absolute. Dyson, mm. ah, that's the new one, right? That's the new one, okay. anyway, the new design that is very easy to, to dump the dust out. And super powerful, you can have 60 minutes of battery life on a single charge. 60 minutes? Yeah, that's enough to vacuum the whole house on a single charge. Oh, that's incredible. And it's very powerful. Uh -huh. Yeah. So does that is that the one that comes with like all the attachments? Yeah. So to get the absolute pack, I think you get a lot of adapters. I think you have no mistaken, there's two. There's one for hard flow, one for carpet flows mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And then you have like the sharp one. Yes. And the, the one. and the cool thing is it makes a really nice sound. So we don't actually have the V eleven eleven here, but we have the V ten. The V10, which looks very similar. V10. This is the V10, and it makes this sound when you when you try to when you try to use it. Wow, sounds like I'm a so space sorry. gun. What? <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So the V11 sounds a lot more better than that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the V11 is like the better version of that. Like, and you have a screen that shows like the battery life remaining. You even have a screen that yeah, shows the battery life remaining. Yeah. A screen on a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Okay. Cool. Fine. That's uh. How much is that? Uh, about three thousand bucks. <laughs> Official price three three nine nine, but I think you get cheaper deals online. And, and this is for someone that you only like. You did someone that you mm. like and you really like, like okay. really like. Oh, you really like. Okay, yeah, so three thousand bucks, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I guess. Uh, would you like to receive a vacuum cleaner for your for your uh, holiday season gift? A I, three thousand ringgit vacuum cleaner. A clean. three thousand ringgit vacuum cleaner. Then again, Dyson thinks three thousand ringgit is like not that like ridiculous. It's like the standard Dyson template, lah, right? Yeah. Let's not go talk about the the, the light. The light. <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole different the ballgame. task light. Task yes. light, yeah. Okay, do you have any more gifts you'd like to suggest our readers, viewers, listeners? Well, like? if you're, I don't know, if you have like a, mi a million bucks or billion bucks in your bank account, maybe the Hyundai i30N. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you can get that on Lazada. Lazada, right? yeah. I think the deposit is like 2,000. 2,000 ringgit, ringgit yeah. So the car is like, how much? 299,000. Oh my gosh. But it's that's only 20 units in Malaysia. True, it's but very exclusive. You but know? for the performance, it's quite expensive, right? Like, yeah. in, in, if you're looking at hot hatch money, right? That's like Golf R, Golf GTI, GTI price. GTI, the Civic Type R, I think, has higher output. Civic but it's Type unique. R, yeah. But the Civic Type R is also three hundred and what twenty thousand, so yeah. that's a bit more expensive. Yeah, but you never think oh, it's another Civic. True, but this, this looks one very is unique. Like you got it, you know, when you get into the when when people ask you, so what do you drive? It's like, oh, I drive a Hyundai. <laughs> <laughs> Oh What's your unique gift, don't you think? Yeah, and yeah. you only need to pay 2000 because if it's in their name, then you know they need to sell out the rest, right? Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> so on Shop Church, you can put uh, like a, I think it's a Chup Dulu, uh, uh, Dulu sale. Yeah, 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 so yeah. the down payment is 2000 ringgit, then the rest you worry about it later. Yeah, yeah. After or, Christmas. Or, or the person you're giving <laughs> the gift to, that one they worry about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works. Yeah, that's one option. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Um, Overall, I would say Alexis gives, uh, they're very thoughtful. They are actually way more generous than I would ever give anyone, uh, especially that vacuum cleaner, that mid-range section. Even <laughs> the basic one, uh, three stars. The mid-range one, I would give four stars because pretty good. I like myself a uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Wink, wink. Um, but the top spec one, I don't know, man. I'm still a bit on the fence about this. But okay, thank you so much for sharing. Um, All right. Before you leave though, what would you like to receive for your Christmas uh, or your holiday season gift? Hmm. Well, so surprise me. me. Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind another one. Oh my god. Okay, so you heard it here first. You want to send Alex a vacuum cleaner this holiday season? Send yeah. him a nice vacuum cleaner. <laughs> a high performance hot hash? I won't mind as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh, we will move on to the next person. My next guest, I think, also needs no introduction. He is the host, creator, founder, and uh, yet to be publisher of Gadget Budget, Anit. He is um, also someone who likes to unbox things, wears backwards caps, and I heard he was recognized on a plane once. Everybody, welcome Anip or Anip Azrai from Search Incha BM. Hello. So, Anip's specialty is knowledge of the things that you wouldn't normally buy for people, so I'm quite excited. 
อันนี้พอยุคไม่ใช่ครับ Alright so what do you have for me first or for us to for them to buy other people Okay yang paling murah saya ada nama dia portable grill Huh? <laughs> Portable. Ah, wait, wait. I show you the picture. Okay, sekejap. You will be surprised. Is that surprised. tech related? Hmm. Eh, tech also need to eat, mah. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> wow. Ah. <laughs> Tak hey, gambar kat sini. Not bad, ah. Tak uh. gambar kat sini. In case you cannot see, you know, we will have the photo there. So what you're looking at is like if you think of like you know those uh, portable, portable stuffs yeah. that you find at I don't know two pesos or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> it but instead of being like a little the sort round of bulat kan, ah uh, this one you, you flat. Yeah, so uh, it's flat, but it has the same. Does it also use then like the a butane a, can? A butane can, yeah, uh-huh. yang you can buy from like, macam Giant supermarket kan. Boleh dapat sepuluh uh, ringgit dapat tiga can. Uh-huh. Uh, itu okay. boleh guna dengan ni. Okay, and the good thing they flat, and then you can put like, daging, beef uh-huh. ke sate even. Yeah, when I'm you, looking at like playing, corn. Yeah, while you playing PUBG ke COD <laughs> Mobile kan with your friend, surround, you letak, letak kat kan. mamak eh. Ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> And then you g- <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, also, I think I see Harga dia murah ke? Saya tengok. Oh, how much is it? Woi, 140 ringgit only. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's still more than I would spend on like somebody that I don't know lah. Percuma, I, tiga bu- I, butin gas. Oh, can include that. Ah? 1 2 3. Wah, not bad ah. Okay. So, so I I also see that the the ingenious thing about this is that if you give this to somebody you don't really know right then they have to come to you and cook for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Can okay. Can. Genius. Okay, I like I like this. I like this. I'll give this a uh, four stars. Okay. <laughs> what what do we have okay. next? Yang so kedua, the, the person that you okay with okay, lah okay, like okay, like uh, friend lah uh, like, okay, okay. like me lah hopefully. Item yang kedua dalam senarai adalah Xiaomi Mi Charger 6 port 60 watt. Charger, hmm. charging port. Ha, ni bukan biasa-biasa. Ni <laughs> orang dah test memang melepasi PIO Ayan keselamatan. Aha, ha, kalau aha. korang ada baca saya punya artikel pasal USB charger kan. Ha, nanti boleh tengok dekat description ada link. Okay. Yang ni dia lepas PIO Ayan keselamatan. But it's just a, a multi port charger. Why why is this? Multi port 60 watt. Kat sini ada 60 watt. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima port USB-A. Satu, salah satu dia QC 3.0. Lepas tu dekat sebelah dia, ada USB-C. Lagi bagus, dekat belakang pengecas tu kan, dia punya kabel power dia boleh tanggal. So, you can change your kabel daripada kepala China jadi kepala UK. So, tak ada masalah kalau nak guna kat mana-mana. Oh, so it's like uh, it's like those normal sort of two, two the two, two lubat, yang the two hole ha, one lah. Ha. Kat electrical appliance yang ha. biasa kan. Ha. Okay lah, I guess that's not so bad. But honestly, if I get this instead, I would have rather have the grill lah. <laughs> now, now, now that you mention it, I would rather have the grill. Okay, okay, cool. What's yeah. next? What do we have next? So that is like how much? Uh, hundred and one ringgit. Hundred and one ringgit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would rather have the grill. Okay. <laughs> next. Kemudian <laughs> yang terakhir adalah ha ah, ni. Single board computer yang bernama Raspberry Pi 4. What? Ah ini kalau anda pernah tengok saya punya again <laughs> kejap ada guru. Even even the weather not happy. <laughs> kalau anda pernah tengok saya punya video Uh, Raspberry Pi yang saya buat install game lama kan. Ah uh, yang tu saya gunakan Raspberry Pi 3. Yang ni Raspberry Pi 4. Dia punya CPU upgrade. Kemudian dia punya uh, RAM pun upgrade. Dia ada USB C sekarang, dia punya HDMI out dia pakai USB C lagi power. Lepas tu kat USB C tu kan dia support uh, USB 3.0. Jadi transfer rate tu lagi tinggi. So kalau anda gunakan Raspberry Pi 4 ni untuk arcade gaming lagi lancar. Saya dengar cerita dia boleh emulate sampai PS2. Masa kat Raspberry Pi 3 sampai PS1 only. Hmm. But it's like okay, so if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, hmm. it's basically like a PCB. PCB. It's a PCB, right? Yeah. With like a few USB ports. Okay. Uh, CPU ada, GPU ada. A, it has a CPU, a GPU, but hmm. not like you're not 
looking at like Core i9 and yeah. RTX 2080 lah. <laughs> single core. Ni. It's like a single core yeah. uh, setup, so it's not very powerful. No. And it's just a PCB. That yeah. means you need to what get a case for it. Yeah. And then you need to set it up. What what is there? Is there anything inside? Like is there any software inside? Uh, dalam dia tak ada storage. Uh-huh. There's a micro SD card slot. Itu dia punya storage dia. On that you can install your Linux distribution OS lah basically. Uh, so salah satu dia yang famous RetroPie lah untuk emulate game-game lama. Kemudian you juga boleh buat uh, apa home home theater. Ha, mini PC untuk home theater tu Kalau nak install contoh dia uh, Kodi Nak install uh, Plex Semua boleh Even boleh buat untuk hack pun boleh uh. Buat untuk hack Okay, okay so <laughs> I, I think we're seeing a bit of a pattern here Everything that Anip gets you right Is a gift plus some assembly required <laughs> You need to, in order to fully experience his gift You have to go and look at his uh, guides on So I just shall be Okay, uh, I mean, interesting, I guess. Uh, would you like to receive a Raspberry Pi for your uh, holiday season gift? Let me know in the comments or let <laughs> Anip know in the comments below. Yeah. Um, personally, uh, I like my gifts to be like proper, like give me iPhone or uh, Android phone. Or <laughs> something that I don't need to spend like a day building up. La. Okay, oh. so okay la, I'll give you... Not senang. Ke. <laughs> I'm a millennial, easy life. <laughs> Walking around like I ran the place. Uh, okay, so okay. I will give this two stars. Two stars. <laughs> Not that good. Try harder next year. Okay, okay. thank you very much, Anip. Okay. <laughs> next. Uh, Anip, 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 I forgot to ask you. Uh-huh. What do you want for your holiday season? Uh, uh-huh. Oh, what I want, eh? Uh, what do you want? Sekejap. Saya tengah tengok satu benda ni, tengah target. Oh my gosh. It's probably like a build the bear. <laughs> Like a Lego kit. Kan. Uh, something that needs welding. Kan. Apa ni? Apalah. Maybe a new phone. Tak ada pun. Okay, just tell us what it, what it is. Nama dia. Eh, dia tak ada nama. Tapi benda ni. Of course dia tak ada nama. <laughs> Portable monitor. Portable monitor. Ah, uh-huh. Kenapa? Sebab kita boleh guna dengan Raspberry Pi tadi. <laughs> just, just, just go away, go away. Leave, leave. Enough, enough. Ending the segment, ending the segment. Bye-bye. Next up, we have somebody who's... Next up, we have someone who has a name that you probably know very well, but uh, don't like to hear. Lah, huh? <laughs> the guy who is uh, made his name or this guy who made his name telling people what not to buy, which apparently is everything, the host of Jangan Beli himself, and also people say that uh, Jeff Spatu looks like him. Mr. Najib! Najib, how yes. are you today? Yes, I'm very fine, very good. So Terima kasih. Do you have, uh, do you have uh, gifts for us? Mm-hmm. Gifts to tell us, or to tell them what to buy? Yes, okay. Uh, kali ini, <coughs> sebelum tu, hi semua. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Uh, selamat kembali lagi. Aku Tapi kali ini, <laughs> saya telah cerita kenapa jangan beli. Tapi kenapa nak beli? <laughs> hadiah <laughs> untuk ujung tahun ni kan. Cuma kali ini saya nak pecahkan hadiah saya kepada dua bahagian. Dua je? Uh, uh, that's for three categories. Senang sebab biasa kita sebenarnya, kawan kita ada dua jenisnya. Kawan yang kita suka dan kawan yang kita tak suka. <laughs> ha, dua yang dua. <laughs> Kawan yang dekat, kawan yang jauh. Okay Ada lah, kawan tengah-tengah. Not, ha. not, not, not really. Ah, okay, ha. okay. Alright, let's start with kawan yang tak suka. <laughs> tak adalah tak suka. Tapi kita bagi hadiah yang murah sikit. <laughs> ha. Dia bukan murah sebab apa. Benda ni, kita pilih hadiah yang orang ramai boleh pakai dan boleh terima seadanya. Ha. Mm-hmm. Pertama sekali, saya nak cadangkan. Ha. Eh. <laughs> oh, got props. <laughs> Power bank, okay. Power bank mungkin ramai sangat orang dah ada. Kan? Nah, mungkin ramai orang dah ada. Tapi yang saya nak cadangkan ni, power bank for free. yang ada sokongan wireless charger. Oh. Ah. Okay. What, what is it called? What is it called? Yang macam ini ialah Xiaomi wireless power bank. Ah, 10,000 mAh. So, what's good about it? Ah, okay. Pertama, harga dia dalam sekitar RM100 saja, RM99 ke RM100. Okay. Tak mahal sangat, tak murah sangat. Dan... 
Bagusnya sebab dia boleh dikatakan menyokong semua jenis pengecasan. Ha, saya paling masalah antara yang saya jumpa bila lepak dengan kawan-kawan kan, pengguna iPhone. Dia bateri okay. cepat sangat habis. Okay, sikit, Najib, kau buat power bank tak? <laughs> ada power bank, tapi aku tak ada charger iPhone sebab <coughs> jangan beli iPhone kan? Ha. Jadi dengan adanya power bank wireless ni dan menang ke iPhone, kebanyakannya sekarang dah support wireless charger. Uh. Ha, power bank ni boleh membantu mereka juga walaupun tak ada kabel iPhone. Okay, how fast is the charging? Okay, dan power bank ni pun lah, dia support fast charging. Uh. Ha, kalau wireless yes, ke wireless? Yang wireless dia cuma 10 watt. Tapi iPhone sampai 7.5 watt je kan. It's still Jadi, faster than the basic charger. Ah ya, yeah, faster than the <laughs> dinosaur charger tu. <laughs> dan untuk tu, yang best dia ada support USB C masuk dan keluar. Jadi nak uh, charge power bank ni cepat pun boleh, charge keluar pun boleh cepat. PD lah. Ha, ah PD. Katanya okay. dia support sampai 18 watt keluar masuk. 18. That's not bad. Ha. Ah. Okay. Kena charge laptop lah, but ah laptop memang tak lah. Laptop tu kan kena cerita lagi mahalnya power bank. Mm-hmm. Yang ni telefon pintar yang semua orang ada kan. Ah, mm. Malaysia ni sama ada dia ada Android atau iPhone kan. Okay, how much is it? Ah, sekitar seratus ringgit. Secara rasmi tak dijual oleh Xiaomi Malaysia, <laughs> tapi boleh didapati dengan banyaknya di kedai-kedai online, Shopee dan juga Lazada. Okay, okay, I like this. Uh, nice. I like the build, metal, mm-hmm. very nice. Yeah. The color, very nice. The texture, very nice. But I don't like that there's only one USB A port. Like USB A out. I mean, I know lah USB C is the other one, right? But then not everybody has a C to C cable. C to C cables are expensive. I like to charge my camera with one, then my smartphone with the other, and then and then how? Ah, yeah, ini memang power bank ni khas untuk telefon pintar. Jangan mandang kan hampir semua orang dekat Malaysia sekarang ada telefon pintar. Tapi kamera tak ramai orang ada, laptop tak semua ada. Yang benda-benda lain tu jadi Ah, itulah dunia. Okay, and it's not too expensive. Mm, yeah. It's like what 20, 30 ringgit more than the 20k version ah, without yes. wireless. Yeah. And this is 10k. Okay lah, not bad, not bad. Betul? Not bad, not bad. Mm-hmm. Three stars. Next. Okay, seterusnya untuk hadiah yang dalam kategori murah ni. Yang kedua saya nak cadangkan uh, penimbang berat elektronik. <laughs> ah, apa? Wait, 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 wait. You want to give mat- people a weighing scale? Yeah. You know what that sounds? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so oh no no no, this is for people that you like, uh, ha. not that good. Not, it's like the the. Dan the nah, ni pun hadiah ni, hadiah ni sebenarnya okay, macam menarik okay. kalau nak dibagi setiap kali kenduri kawin. Ha, orang yang baru kawin. <laughs> Wing scale is like you know, kind of rude right, a bit rude right. Isn't there like a pantang? Okay, to, bendanya to penimbang ni untuk orang pakai kat rumah, bukan untuk tunjuk kat luar orang luar. Jadi rasanya bukan satu masalah. Bah satu lagi kita bagi penimbang berat ni untuk membantu mereka sering apa uh, memantau berat badan mereka supaya tahu tahap kesihatan. Ah. Ha. Very good. Dan uh, weighing scale yang yang patut dibeli ni lah jenis yang dipanggil uh, smart weighing scale. Uh-huh. Smart scale. Ha. Uh. What's, what's so, smart about it? Okay, pertama sekali yang banyak weighing scale ni dah sekarang boleh timbang uh, selain berat badan, dia boleh timbang BMI, kadar lemak. Uh, dan macam tu lah. Dan <laughs> <laughs> selain tu uh, antara beberapa jenama yang ada Contohnya Xiaomi ada, uh, Huawei pun ada. Mm. Dengan penimbang pintar ni, dia kita boleh sambung ke app secara Bluetooth dan dia boleh rekodkan kita punya timbangan tu. Kita okay. punya berat, kita punya ni. Ha, macam tu saya ada ni. Kalau nak tunjuk tapi kamera tak tahu yeah. kamera boleh nampak tak nampak. Ada ke? Apa yeah. boleh letak gambar? Ha. Kamera foto dia. Ha. Ni ah, saya punya yeah. Huawei body fat scale ni kan. Huawei body. Ha. jadi dia ada rekod hari-hari trends. Boleh tengok Wah. berat. Wah, ini Asyik naik je. Okay. Selap, selap. <laughs> Ini bukan ini orang lain tak. Ha. Ha, ni trend ni tu. Ha, ni turun Wah. naik, turun turun. Ha, okay, 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 okay. selain daripada berat badan pun boleh tengok ha, le, peratus lemak dan juga peratus otot. The, the, the curve ha. Eh, fat ni turun naik, turun naik. Ha, okey okey okey. Tapi masa menurun. Oh, okay. this one drop a lot. Okey lah. Oh. <laughs> masa. Ha. Okay. Jadi sedikit sebanyak boleh membantu orang ramai untuk memantau. Uh, kesihatan lah sikit-sikit banyak sebab berat kan <laughs> This is a terrible gift, don't give people please Why? <laughs> okay, okay, okay Cuma okay. kat rumah je I guess I guess if you like to receive a weighing scale as your your holiday present Then hmm. uh, Najib is a good friend to have lah hmm. <laughs> Alright sebab Satu lagi yang kena tahu, harga oh. tu pun tak mahal uh, sangat Harga much? Uh, paling mahal mungkin dalam satu setengah Kebanyakan uh-huh. saya tu dalam seratus ke seratus dua puluh ringgit Okay, so about the same as like a power bank lah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Benda yang semua orang boleh guna. Hmm. True, true. You just need to stand on it. Yeah. 
Okay, what do we have for the people that you really like? Okay, kalau untuk orang yang saya rasa baik sangat dan saya nak bagi hadiah yang lebih istimewa sikit uh, Pertama sekali, saya nak hadiahkan iPad iPad? Ha. iPad yang mana? iPad yang paling murah Oh <laughs> <laughs> Paling murah pun RM1.500 iPad paling murah So this ha. is the 7th gen iPad, uh, the basic iPad ha. Wi-Fi Yes, iPad okay. Wi-Fi 32GB storage ha. Okay, not bad, you support Apple Pencil, you support the new keyboard ha. um, It comes in space grey yeah. I think Alex just unboxed one Semua yang support-support tu kena beli sendirilah ha, bagi iPad dia <laughs> <laughs> Aduh, this some, again, some assembly required lah Okay, cool Tapi ni satu lagi benda yang bagi saya, semua orang boleh gunakan uh. Sebab satu benda ni, iPad ni especially kalau untuk yang dah berkeluarga Yang dah ada anak-anak kecil ni uh, Kebanyakan masa iPad ni boleh membantu uh, Mengawal situasi dan keadaan Ya ke? Okay, I mean I don't mind that I think the iPad is probably the best tablet uh, hmm, yes. Full stop like. Android tablets are not that good. Ya, yeah, yang itu saya pun tak boleh nafikan. iPad yeah. adalah tablet terbaik di yeah. pasaran masa kini. You heard it here first. Yeah, uh, so he cannot do it. Jangan beli iPad already. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, iPad great choice. I think good build, good, pretty good price also for yeah. what it can do. It can last pretty long. I think that has a A10 chip, yes, yeah, flagship processor. Chip, yeah. uh, I've used one for like a year, I think. Pretty good also. Uh, the 6th gen one actually. So the 7th gen one is even better. So yeah, okay, I like that. I like that, very generous. Especially dengan iPad OS pun makin makin senang lah nak ah. guna iPad ni. Eh. So what's the computer? No, it's still, it's still not on your computer. But okay, cool. Next. Next, okay. Yang seterusnya pula, uh, uh, hadiah yang mahal untuk orang yang saya baik dengan saya, yang rapat dengan saya ni. Saya nak bagi Smart TV 4K. Weh. Ah. I will wait for the Smart TV in my <laughs> mailbox. <laughs> Kenapa sekurang-kurangnya untuk Uh, orang, alah, kebanyakan orang sekarang boleh kata semua rumah ada TV kan uh-huh. Jadi sekurang-kurangnya naik taraf mereka seterusnya ialah TV 4K uh-huh. uh, Selain dari TV 4K yang menyokong uh, digital TV uh, My Free View Right, uh, okay, okay Sekarang Malaysia dah berubah, kita dah matikan semua TV analog dan kita dah bertukar kepada siaran digital Jadi sekurang-kurangnya TV tu kena sokong TV digital dan ada 4K untuk uh, apa keserasian masa depan uh-huh. uh, Sekarang dah apa kandungan 4K dah mula datang kan Netflix ada YouTube ada dan kita tak lama lagi digital TV kita pun akan ada 4K. But Jadi, people don't watch stuff on TV anymore. They all watch on their smartphone. Ah, tapi itu ialah. Or iPad. Ada orang duduk rumah, ada orang duduk keluar. Jadi Cik. still semua orang ada rumah kan? Ha, ah, jadi sebaiknya <laughs> kena letaklah satu TV. Semua ah. orang ada rumah. Okey, okey. Jadi ada ni kira saya rasa sesuai untuk orang yang saya rasa rapat saya lah Okay, alright, he redeemed himself I would say uh, The second half of that was uh, very nice very Yelah, saya pun tengok harga pun Very generous Sekali lagi How much is it? Uh, kita, saya tengok tadi Samsung dan Sony uh, Untuk 50 inci 4K Boleh dapat bawah RM2,000 uh, Sekitar RM1,700, RM1,800 tu Permulaan Jadi uh, macam tu lah Okay, fine uh-huh. Four stars Not bad, not Yay. bad Pretty good Can recommend, Rory can recommend those uh-huh. gifts uh, A bit expensive So if you're feeling, feeling Yeah, so if you're rekan, feeling generous uh, Rory recommend tapi tak semestinya dia yang dapat <laughs> okay, okay, but before you go What uh-huh. do you want uh, Personally to receive? What would you like to receive This holiday season? Uh, ini betul-betul untuk kali ni lah Sebab just nice lah time ni uh, Tu benda yang saya nak ni Smartwatch Jam pinta uh, <laughs> Smartwatch? Satu yang saya pakai ni dah setahun lebih ke dua tahun dah uh-huh. Jam pinta tu kalau boleh tak nak jam yang bateri sehari dah mati. Apa Apple Watch? Ha, nak Apple Watch. Jadi Apple Watch memang tak nak lah. Sebab tak pakai iPhone lah. Itu memang tak boleh lah. Uh-huh. Rasanya yang betul-betul saya nak ni tengok yang menarik dan memenuhi cita-cita rasa saya ni. Huawei Watch GT2. Ooh, ha, Huawei Watch GT2. Ha. Ha, selain pada desain dia nampak klasik kan. Bateri pun tahan 2 minggu katanya. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a, actually a pretty good, good gift to give people also because uh, it supports uh, all sorts of devices. Yes. Two uh, week battery life. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice AMOLED screen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For himself, he choose so nice lah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boleh lah. So, Siapa nak bagi hadiah? <laughs> Najib Mulaik. Harga dia cuma tujuh ratus lima puluh sembilan. Kan? <laughs> yep. Uh. Betul. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll move on to the next person. Next up, we have someone that you usually only see behind the camera, which means you don't see him very often. Um, he is famous for, well, all the videos that have come out on Sejin Chang. Okay, 
most of them. Lah. Okay, so uh, it is our videographer and uh, resident punching bag. <laughs> Zachary Young! Hi, 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 guys. So, as we were recording this, he was like, hey, I also got gift ideas. Yeah, so then, okay, lor. that's why he brought the audio equipment here because nobody else to, to monitor audio. There's literally no behind, no, no, nobody monitoring audio behind the camera right now. So, he has to do it here. Okay, Zach. What's up? What is your. What is your. <laughs> what are the three gifts? That you like, to, or what are the gifts that you like to give the three people in your life? Start, Start with the people that you don't really like, or the the people that you don't really know. People I don't really know. Okay, I will give them a heavy duty socket. What's that? Extension. There's three extension, and uh -huh. this heavy duty you can actually uh, avoid. I mean, avoid lightning. Why ah? Uh? Lightning arrester. I would say is a lightning arrester. So lightning arrester. Uh, lightning arrester lah. Uh -huh. Why ah? Uh? Because it's cheap. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but okay lah, okay, fine. All right. So how many pots are we talking about here? One, two, three, four, four. Enough lah. Yeah, six more very expensive. Six more expensive, eh? No, 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 no. Four enough. Four enough. Fair enough. Okay. Mm. What's next? Ah, mid range is a S sixty four hundred camera. Yeah, S sixty six thousand four hundred. That is mid range, ah. Mid range, ah. What? Mid range, ah. How much is that? <laughs> You'll be here. I don't think he understands how expensive <laughs> an A6400 is. I understand. Right? It's, it's not tank care then. So I guess he's fine. a pretty good friend to have. La. Yeah, okay, fine. A6400 can shoot themselves. Yeah, can vlog, vlog, uh, you know. Vlog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> can vlog, you know, can take photos. If you don't know how to take photos, I'll teach you. Oh don't worry. God. It's free, it's free. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Next. Okay, what's the most expensive the thing? Most expensive gift. It's a camera already, the mid range one. I cannot imagine. For the fella who. For the person he did. The <laughs> Ow. MacBook Pro. That lady and gentlemen. Inch. It's a 15 inch MacBook Pro. But wouldn't you want to wait for the 16 inch MacBook Pro? That would so be better, right? Christmas is coming soon. True. La. You want it or not? It's actually. Mm. <laughs> you want it or not? <laughs> ah. One income get. <laughs> <laughs> and how much is a MacBook Pro? Okay, this is the highest spec that I I'm using right now. So I that's think an I think it's an i9. i9. It's like thirty two gigs of RAM. Oh yeah. Uh, two terabyte SSD. <laughs> uh, Retina screen, really nice speakers. Uh, Not so know. nice keyboard, but <laughs> it's fine. Can be fixed. Can be fixed. Can be fixed. Okay. <laughs> can be fixed. Can be fixed. Can be fixed. Okay. The price of it is uh, 18k to 20k. Oh my god. That range? Mm. Be my very good friend. <laughs> yeah, Zachary is made of money. So please uh, hit him up. Everybody. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram. <laughs> uh, White Rabbit. Third more bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, okay. If you're so generous, what would you like to receive as your Christmas gift? I'm a simple man. Oh boy. I want something that can fly. Not a plane, but a DJI Inspire 2. <laughs> not much, not much. Which is also like 13 to 15,000 ringgit, right? It's, yeah, 13 to 20, la, around <laughs> that range. La. Not that okay. much I'm asking for if I give you this, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Uh, you right. heard it here first. Uh, very expensive set of gifts for Zachary Yu. Okay. Uh, even uh, unless unless you're someone he doesn't really know, then you'll get an extension. Uh, lightning arrester. Okay, thank you so much. Alright, thanks, sorry. Okay, Merry Christmas. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. And you go back there. <laughs> now, our final guest uh, is also one of the newer members on the Search and Shout team. He is a musician. Uh, you may know him for his uh, cover of Let It Go on YouTube. Let them see, be the good boy you always have to be. See them, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know. Let it go, let it go. He's also the guy who needs to smile more when doing Ichimis. And he's also someone whose artist of the decade on Spotify is the Chainsmokers. We know exactly what kind of person that is. 
everyone, this is Nick. Uh. Hi, Nick. Hi. <laughs> so, Nick, mm. Mr. Guy with a piano tattooed on his arm, <clears throat> what gifts do you have for us today? Okay, so there are three categories that you asked for, right? Yes. Uh, what are they again? Somebody that you don't really like, somebody yes. that you kind of like, and somebody that you really, really like. Yes, yes. Uh, so to me, Chris... you really <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, it sounds creepy. But uh, so for me, uh, I think that Christmas isn't really about the monetary value of what you get. Oh my God. So it's more we about... We have a cheapskate here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we started off uh, really well. <laughs> to, me, to me, giving a gift is, is all about what you, what you want to offer somebody else that you think that they wouldn't have otherwise. So it's not about the money. Of course, if you had an unlimited amount of money, then... Right. But uh, so for me, the way I approach this is to look at, you know, gifts that people wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves because they wouldn't have thought of it. But it would bring in an you know, intangible amount of value to their lives. So first up... Um, intangible amount of value, ladies yeah, and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so for uh, a more affordable gift for somebody that I'm not so familiar with, but somebody that I still want to bring value to, it's, uh, mm-hmm. it's uh, their cable ties. They're, they're not just any cable ties, they're not like... <laughs> Let me show Excuse you. Excuse me, what? So these are from uh, Ugreen, which is a China company, I think. But uh, it, it's not because of the brand. But so I actually first came across this. Uh, I started. I bought like maybe forty of these during Eleven Eleven because they were available for like uh, I think one ninety for twenty pieces, and uh, I decided to just buy. <laughs> I bought. I can't remember forty, fifty, something like that. So I first came across these because um, Alex actually uh, gave me one <laughs> as a gift. And for me, I was like, you know, I was thinking like, oh, what is this, you know, but it brought a, a level of convenience to my life that I wouldn't have otherwise noticed. And, you know, that's not something that I would have thought of looking for myself. So what we're looking at right now is a Velcro cable tie that is about as big. No, no, no. That is about as basic as it gets. So, so you mentioned that Alex got you the cable ties, mm. right? And Alex is a very generous <laughs> so um okay. So so the way it works, right, is that you can leave it tied onto any cable, <laughs> and it stays on the cable all the time, and it, it looks pretty cool as well. <laughs> so and then you just you just tie it up, and it it just cleans up the clutter in your life, and you know if you clean up the clutter, then you clean up I your see. mind. I ah. see. So you're telling them that their clutter that you want to clean up, lah. Uh no lah. I want to give them the opportunity. Okay, so. That's H- my how, gift. How much is it? How much is it? This is, uh, I think it's available for eight ninety nine for twenty pieces now. Ooh, so that comes up to mark. that comes up to, I, I don't know what that comes up to, but <laughs> I think you're talking about less than a ringgit for each each tie. But get somebody twenty cable ties. Mm-hmm. Get them forty cable ties. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter because everybody has cables, and nobody has them tied up nicely like these. Yeah, everybody has cables, and they all like to be tied up. All right. Okay. Moving on. What do uh, we have next? Next up, it's we're talking about the mid-range, and you know, taking into account that I do not believe in spending too much on Christmas presents. Uh, the next up is this is a Redmi Power Bank, right? <laughs> this is a bit dirty because I've had this for a while, but it's a power bank. Okay, okay, okay. So the last time we saw a power bank on this show, it was like wireless, USB-C, cool colors. How much was it? It's like a hundred bucks. You see, that's a hundred bucks. So this is about. It's under uh, sixty ringgit. <laughs> so you could probably get it for like fifty-four bucks during twelve twelve, something oh. like that. And uh, uh, and it's twenty k. Uh, it, it's a twenty k uh, milliamp hour battery. So you, c- it's about the maximum that you can take on a plane. So I got this because I have like a thirty thousand milliamp hour battery, and I couldn't take them on any any trips anywhere. <laughs> You have so, a 30,000 milliamp hour power yeah, bank. The bigger, the better, you know. What? So... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so tell me about this power bank then. So, uh, it's a bit ugly, to be honest. It's a bit big, it's chunky, you know, but it's about functionality over form. So, uh-huh. it has uh, 20,000 milliamp hours, as mm-hmm. I said. Uh, it supports 18-watt uh, charging in and out. Mm-hmm. So that's something that you don't get for such a cheap power bank, okay. usually, right? It's Redmi, so it's a relatively uh, reasonable, uh, reputable brand. Uh-huh. Uh, Redmi is a sub-brand of Xiaomi, obviously. Uh-huh. And uh, you can charge it with USB-C as well, which you, you can't even oh, do Oh, there's a USB-C? Oh, yeah. okay. C, USB-C in. It's so not USB-C out. At USB-C, we have one USB-C port uh, that charges in. We have a 
micro USB port in, mm. we have a two standard USB A out. So there's no USB C out. No, because it just does 18 watts uh, quick charging. Okay, I mean it's it's okay la, It's pretty good la. It's a bit heavy for a twenty thousand power bank because I have a twenty k one also. Uh, the I think it's the Mi Power Bank two. This feels a bit heavier, but it's got a nice soft touch finish. Uh, with this glossy sort of frame. So I think, I mean, I would rather have this than a cable tie, la, okay? <laughs> so I guess, I guess I have to fine. know you a bit more, so than just a little bit. This is, for, this is for the friends that I know so, well. So for now, I'm only getting a cable tie. <laughs> the one star cable tie. Okay, so uh, one more. <clears throat> one more. To the two star. One more oh. gift to the average friend. And uh, this is the Redmi. <laughs> or oh, this says me. Actually, but it doesn't matter. It's the Redmi Air Dots. Redmi, okay. So, uh, you know, we spoke about this in the video before yeah. this, right? On how we have a really cool video comparing this with like a really expensive pair of headphones that I think you can check out be here or in the description, whatever. Okay. So, uh, you know, these go for 69 ringgit, give or take, because they're not officially available in Malaysia, right? Are they on the main store now? They are. Yeah. Okay, either way, uh, they're about that price um, and they're really, really cheap. The battery is okay, you know. Overall, you get like a very average pair of true wireless headphones, but at a really, really below average oh my price. Oh gosh, seriously? So this is for, for the person that you, you kind of like, the one that you've already got to know. Yes, yes. So the same level as this yes, one. Yes, you give same them price, ma. <laughs> same brand also. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so these, in case you don't know, these are truly wireless mm. uh, earbuds. So they are basically tiny little black buds that almost disappear into your ears. They don't sound that great, but they don't sound awful. Uh, mm. They have three hour battery lives. Can't remember, you need to watch the outside video. Of the <laughs> outside of the box, while the, ch while the case can give you, I think total, you are getting about like 12 hours of battery life for <laughs> this, <laughs> this pair of headphones. Um, I think this is something that's actually on a lot of people's wish list. Mm. So this, I think it's a pretty good gift. Um, I'm sure a lot of people appreciate it, but there is no wireless charging. There is no noise cancelling. Uh, it also charges via micro USB and the case is uh, more plastic than my Myvi. So <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's, 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 a, it's a three star gift. It's a solid gift it's for somebody that needs true wireless headphones and you don't need to pay for a buck. Because to be honest, not many people can tell the difference uh -huh. between a good pair and a shit pair uh -huh. of headphones. Uh -huh. Not to sound like, you know. But yeah. Mr. Musician <laughs> Okay, so what would you give someone who is like, wow, you really like? like? Uh, I'm going to give a wedding ring like actually, right? But <laughs> if it's somebody that I really like, then... Wedding. <laughs> you heard it here first. Wedding ring, but no lah. Uh, so when you said somebody I really like, I think of like my girlfriend lah, right? So mm -hmm. I thought that I would like to get her a pair of AirPods Pros. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's because, uh, well, she likes AirPods, first of all. I like AirPods too. I'm okay with them lah. I think that they're overhyped and I think that they're all right if you so have an iPhone. good resale value, huh? Uh, I think they're great if you're using an iPhone because uh -huh. they work really seamlessly or an iPad or a Mac, right? Uh -huh. It's super, super good and like, uh, I'm a big fan if I was on an iPhone, which I am not. So, uh, but you know, the AirPods Pro is everything that wait, you wait, have. Wait, wait, wait. You've got a, an iPad, oh, and no. I believe you use a MacBook. <laughs> I don't use a MacBook but anymore. But you don't have an iPhone? I don't use a MacBook anymore. Oh my God. I use a MateBook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so I think that the AirPods Pro has everything that the AirPods has, or have, has, whatever. Can you cut that out, please? <laughs> so I think that the AirPods Pro, you know, they have everything that the AirPods have, but with ANC and you know, with in-ear, the in-ear design, which I'm a much bigger fan of. So I will get them for somebody. And also, uh, you know, it sucks to say this, but people, when they look at Christmas presents, if I got somebody who's not like super into tech, like a, a pair of Sony's or something, they may not really understand mm -hmm. what they're getting. Like, oh, this is so awesome. Like, they're just gonna be like, okay, la, earphones. But AirPods Pro, oh, it's AirPods, it's AirPods you know? So as I say, it's about bringing value to people's <laughs> lives. And how, how much are the AirPods Pro? I think they're about 1,099 ringgit. Uh -huh. So, okay lah, I'm quite generous when it comes to the people I really love. And the wedding ring? The wedding ring is supposed to be three times my salary lah. <laughs> so, about 1,099. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, yeah, so the AirPods Pro. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. cool. 
All right. And what would you like to receive? Okay, I have one more gift. Oh. That I would like to. Oh, give. you have one more yeah. gift. <laughs> that I would like to oh, give wow. uh, somebody that I really like. And this is Besides just. Besides the wedding ring and the. Uh, yes. And the that's uh, uh, that's uh, the new Ultra Boost uh, from Adidas. Oh, yeah. new Ultra Boost from Adidas. Do you have a uh, something that you can show? Yeah. No, get your foot off the LTA table, please. No lah. Um, oh so I, I, I had the, I had the, the fortune of, of you know, finding myself a pair of these recently, uh -huh. and uh, they have brought a lot of value <laughs> into my life. Uh, I feel like I'm walking barefooted, and I just really like them. I like how they look, you know. Um, and to me, as I said, it's about giving someone. Uh, Wait, they feel like you're walking barefooted in a good way. Because I don't feel I'm wearing any shoes, but my soles are protected. Okay. Because I know that's what you're getting at. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's also some. Those are some. That's also something that I would want to. That I feel would bring value to somebody's life, mm. and uh, you know something like shoes. It's not about monetary value. It's not about like hype or whatever nonsense it is that people say nowadays. It's about bringing value, and these are the most comfortable shoes I've worn in a long time. So that's why not. Okay. They're about 780 bucks, I think. Okay. So. Do you have anything else for us? <laughs> Not anything that I want to give. Okay. Nothing else. What would you like to receive that as a gift this holiday season? I would like to receive a pair of Sony uh, WF 1000 XM treats. Uh, I think they are really, really nice. And uh, we've already reviewed them, la, so <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. La, I think it was a mistake reading him on that video. Now he's like <laughs> hooked, right? <laughs> They, they just sound really, really good and I, I'm not like an audiophile or whatever, like, although I pretend to be here, right? But, um, I think they are, how much are they? Uh? You should know, right? You uh, 949 ringgit, uh, but you can get them for like 8-900 bucks. Mm. So I okay. saw one retailing, oh not retailing, but selling for like 799. And you know, that's that, a pretty good deal. Uh, that's like, uh, based on how much quality you're getting and stuff like that, I, I, I would really, really like a pair. Like. Mm -hmm. Whether it's from Sony, whether it's from anyone else, it's it's okay as long as it comes for free. I, I might even buy one for myself because I, I would like to bring value to my own life as well <laughs> this Christmas. Okay, yeah. so um, uh, people that he will give gifts to <laughs> will receive them. <laughs> if you want to give him a gift, yeah, Sony headphones. Okay, yep. cool. Thank you so much no for problem. that. No problem. Um, I would give his overall gift list. Five out of five for... For the presentation. Two stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, but in all seriousness, I mean, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I don't hate this. I think uh, Velcro ties uh, tie the whole thing up reasonably well. Uh, cheap on a budget, so uh, good for you guys who, you know, maybe don't have that much money to spend. Mm -hmm. Looking out for the little guy. What a nice guy. Okay, um, but uh, that wedding ring might be a bit out of somebody's budget. <laughs> anyway, that's it uh, pretty much all the gifts that we have. Um, thank you so much. No problem. I enjoyed it. And in, you know, like the holiday spirit, I don't want to just end LTA like, like how we usually do when it just ends, you know. So I brought back our musician and a professional Frozen song coverer, Nicholas Kerr, to play us out with a festive tune. So he's a musician, yeah. So I have very high expectations for this. So you only give me five minutes notice please. to do this, so... Please blow us away. That's it.